City of Jacksonville is cautioning everyone about the dangers of the approaching freezing temperatures. They're working with the Red Cross and many other agencies to make sure everyone has a warm place to stay tonight and tomorrow night. Well, Channel 4's Elizabeth Campbell spoke with some of those agencies and has more on the city's preparations. The city says young children, elderly, and the homeless are most vulnerable to the cold, and the Red Cross says they prep for situations like this all year, and they are ready if any help is needed. Everybody involved with this cold night shelter will be volunteers, um, and we have people specifically trained to uh, lead the shelter. Evelyn Penny is a longtime Red Cross volunteer and says they are ready to help people stay safe and warm in the frigid cold temperatures heading our way. The local Red Cross chapter will stand by and will help any shelter or family who needs assistance. We're just basically preparing right now um, by getting volunteers on standby, uh, places on standby, and our supplies on standby. The Red Cross is working with partners, emergency management, and city officials to be prepared for the Arctic cold front expected Monday and Tuesday. The city is staying in constant contact with the National Weather Service. The primary agency we've been speaking with and will continue to monitor is the National Weather Service in order to provide uh, accurate information to all of our partners in the area. Uh, all of the city agencies uh, were on a call today along with many of our military partners to ensure that they also have that same information. Steve Woodard with Emergency Preparedness says the city is also closely working with shelters and the Red Cross to make sure everyone in Jacksonville has a place to sleep. Uh, we're coordinating with all of the uh, agencies, American Red Cross, uh, the Salvation Army uh, to ensure that there is adequate uh, shelter space, particularly in the downtown area. Uh, those uh, shelters uh, will be opening uh, extended space. The Jacksonville Day and Resource Center is typically closed on Tuesday, but will be open tomorrow to make sure they can help anyone who needs assistance. Reporting downtown, Elizabeth Campbell, Channel 4, the local station.